Now, I seem to remember just a short time ago, maybe six, seven months back, you had all of these hardcore nerd wrestling fans talking about the majesty and the magnificence of the awesomeness of what was going to be the Wednesday Night Wrestling War. It's going to be NXT versus AEW Dynamite. And it's going to be the best night of wrestling on television. And blah, blah, blah. And blah, blah, blah. And this is epic and this is great. And then all that crap never happened. Here we are, May 1st, 2020. And the Wednesday Night Wrestling Wars blow chunks. Now, surely, surely, this comment section of the video is going to be littered with all types of ridiculous and dumb dick defense comments. You know it's coming as is pathetically predictable of a pattern of behavior as we get out of the hardcore wrestling fan base. Well, it is the times are different and priorities have shifted. Wrestling is just different without the live crowd. It's a different <laughs> nah, pound all that straight up your keister. So many of y'all sat there and were talking about how this was going to be the best night of professional wrestling. Show A or show B on Wednesday night is the best wrestling show. And oh my god, then you also got to factor in the idiots. Eventually they're going to surpass the world and they're going to surpass back down it. <laughs> Dick dong dumb dicks, all that crap never happened. It's not going to happen and it never will happen. Less than seven months in, AEW Dynamite went from a debut show on October, what was it, October 2nd, something like that, almost seven months ago now, 1.4 million viewers, and now, with very little competition out there, no college basketball, no NBA basketball, no playoff NBA basketball at that at this time of year, no Major League Baseball, the viewership numbers keep going down. NXT! Same story! Viewership keeps going down! All these companies are doing by running their shows up against each other on the same night, the same, same time slot, is killing each other! And it makes no sense! But of course, we're talking about wrestling, how much of it actually does make any damn sense! And as far as the whole thing of well, the crowds aren't there, so the crowds can't get into it. Da, 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 da. Now, somebody like me, sure, enjoys wrestling more when there is some type of live reaction from an audience to kind of feed into the moment. But so many people that watch AEW Dynamite and NXT anyways are freaking moving match marks. They don't give a crap about storytelling. They don't give a crap about character character development. They don't give a crap about the environment of the live audience. They're just in it for the matches because they're geeks and nerds like that. Whatever, that's their business. But ultimately, yet again, proving time after time after time that that philosophy does not make for a major mainstream wrestling show or brand. I hope you idiots can finally get it through your thick freaking skulls. Like, think about it. You have, like, no competition. You have the ability to do all types of creative things that you normally wouldn't do if you were doing a live show in front of an audience. And they can't even keep the match marks! You're on viewers in the low 600,000s. When you're talking about even a couple of months ago, NXT, AEW, maybe 850,000, AEW Dynamite, October 2nd, 1.4 million viewers. This is what happens when you pay too much attention to the hardcore nerds and you got a bunch of hardcore marks in these companies, on these shows, that don't know how to tell stories, that don't know how to be characters, that don't know how to be larger than life personalities, that have to rely solely and expressly on trying to legitimately hurt themselves in a fake form of entertainment in order to get themselves over, which ultimately is never going to be a long-term formula of success. Again, proven time and time and time again, yet people still don't get it through their head. I mean, if you look at it right now, what is there that you really care about? That's the problem. 
What is there to really care about with either of these brands? You know, and you, and people are going to make all types of excuses because they always make excuses. And those excuses, you can pound them and shove them. You are talking about AEW losing over 50% of its audience from episode one until now. It's seven months. That's not good. I don't give a damn what metric you put out there. NXT keeps trying to throw all their names up against it. And it doesn't matter because these shows suck if you are trying to appeal to a mainstream larger audience. They do not care about the Hayat Karate. They do not care about this, uh, that and all this other move crap. They care about stories. They care about characters and personalities. And what the hell would either one of these brands, either one of these shows, know about doing any of that? Nothing. If you ever wanted a perfect example of exactly why the hell you don't want any hardcore internet mark nerd booking or writing for your wrestling show, may I present to you Wednesday Night's Wrestling Wars. It appeals only to a small segment of fans, small segment of audience, and even then, eventually, they can't even retain that! And I would laugh more if it wasn't so sad and pathetically predictable, but yet, here we are. Well, you think magically all of a sudden when the fans come back down the road that the ratings are going to go up when they actually have competition to go up against on Wednesday night? But how much longer do you think this model is really sustainable? How much longer do you think this can really keep going? Either one of them is going to have to quickly bump off a Wednesday night or eventually both of them are going to have to bump off a Wednesday night. They have to. What is it, a race to the bottom? First one to 300,000 viewers, win slash lose it. I mean, seriously, right now, the best wrestling programming, even though surely not reflected in the total number of viewers because of the part of the network that it's on in Vice, surely, yes. The most interesting and compelling wrestling television program on a weekly basis right now is the Dark Side of the Ring series. And it's not even close. And that is a series talking about old news from 10, 20, 30 years ago. And yes, while I morbidly enjoyed watching and re-watching and re-watching again, only the part about the Dino Bravo story that talked about the big bug you're dead. <laughs> The fact of the matter remains is what you see on the dark side of the ring is incredibly, inherently, significantly more interesting than anything that any of these loser brands for these loser-ass wrestling companies is putting out there right now. Tell me how I'm wrong. And your opinion is not good enough. Tell me how I'm wrong. Because what the data shows, the numbers shows, and if you're one of those Alvarez and Meltzer nerds that wants to sit there and talk about breakdowns of demographics, you are part of the problem. At some point in time, you can only manipulate those ratios so damn much to mean something meaningful. you got to have more asses and eyeballs in front of the television watching your product. Otherwise, even the demographic breakdowns don't matter. Like, imagine thinking, you watch NXT, you got a couple of guys and gals that clearly are probably actually worth giving a crap about. But then you have these vast majority of these vanilla cookie cutter spot monkeys that couldn't get over any other way other than killing themselves, having to legitimately hurt themselves in a scripted form of entertainment, because that's how talentless they actually are. And looking at these guys and saying these are great wrestlers, they ain't great nothing. Horrible characters, horrible storytellers, horrible on the mic, horrible personalities, and frankly, repeatable blase and vanilla ass boring in the ring too. 
Why would anybody watch this crap? It's a bunch of gymnastics and high yak karate. And imagine thinking of having the arrogance, the nerve, the tenacity, a veracity of gall and guts and balls. This is there to tell anybody that this is going to be the best night of wrestling on television. And this is the way that wrestling should be done. Ah, shut the hell up. Because it's listening to ideas like that for crap like this that produces the result that have been produced. So for once and for all, sit yourself down and shut the hell up.